Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, Channel 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. While the U.S. has 9-11, the U.K. has 7-7. That's Britain's day on July 7, 2005, where terrorists bombed three trains and a bus, killing 52 people and injuring close to 1,000 before taking their own lives. Five years later, family, friends, and survivors joined together in Hyde Park to lay flowers and remember those lost in the tragic bombing. It was a very difficult day for us. John Taylor's 24-year-old daughter, Carrie, died in the attacks when she boarded the wrong train to Aldgate. Eventually you get used to it, but you can never get over it. Um, it's just one of them things, you go to bed with it, you wake up with it, you think about it ten, ten times a day. And to help the relatives of the victims heal, some September 11th rescue workers came to comfort. Sometimes when you have someone you could share it with and you know you're not alone, it helps it move along faster. Because when someone inflicts that much pain, as terrorism does, we need, we're all bounded as human beings to reach out and help each other. Each column here represents a person who was killed in the attacks on July 7th. Though they're not individually named in solidarity, they include the date, the time of the bombing, and the place where they lost their lives. Britain has stepped up security since 2005 and stopped several terrorist plots. But as the country works to move on past 7-7, the question is, are people any safer now than they were before? Britain has the highest uh, threat rating of terrorism in Europe. So to answer the question, the threat certainly is probably of an equal level as it was in 2005. So while loved ones take time to remember the past, one of the nation's worst attacks, anti-terrorism officials warn the future may not be any brighter. Heather Hope, CBS News, London.